Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And today let's talk about Azure Event Hub. Azure Event Hub is a big data event ingestion service provided by Azure. And in this demo, we will also create Azure Event Hub using Azure portal. So in this image, if you see event is being generated by producers and they are sending the event hub to some kind of ingestion service, which is event hub in this screen. And we can have different partition for a scaling purpose. And also then we can have different consumer groups so that consumers, event receivers can go and read the data and do the processing. We can have one and many partition. We can, all, we can also have one or many consumer groups in this event hub. Also, there are a lot of settings we will talk about and we will see some demos. If you see the right side of picture, uh, this data is coming into real time. And there are, if we talk about Apache Kafka, which is supported into Azure Event Hub, we can also leverage micro batching scenario. We will see somewhere in the demo. So, so what is Azure Event Hub? Azure Event Hub is a fully managed real time data ingestion service. And it is very simple, it is trusted, it is scalable. We can stream millions of events per second into this service. Using this service, we can build dynamic data pipelines and immediately we can respond to any business challenges such as if you have scenario to detect credit card frauds, right, or call fraud, any other type of scenario. You can leverage this service along with other services to do that kind of activity. It has support for geo replication, right? So we can, if in case of disaster, we can use this feature for disaster recovery also. And this service provides very low latency and configurable time retention that enables us to ingress massive amount of telemetry in cloud. And data can be read from multiple applications using publish subscribe semantics. This service also integrates seamlessly with other Azure services and we can use this integration to unlock valuable insight. If our ecosystem is using Apache Kafka in any of application and business application, then we can use this service without any code changes because it has a managed Kafka experience and we can enable that. Once we enable this managed Kafka experience, we can enable real-time data ingestion and micro batching on the same stream. So that is a great feature. Why to choose event hubs? So using event hub, we can focus drawing insight or we can focus in our code business logic instead of managing our infra. So we can go ahead and build real time big data streaming pipelines and respond to business challenges right away. We do not have to think about scale. We do not have to think about a lot of things, right? It is very simple to set up. We can have few clicks, few of the configuration and we can enable end to end pipelines. It is secure and it is certified for ISO. It is certified for SOC. It is certified for HIPAA, PCI and other things. It is very scalable. We can adjust our throughput dynamically based on usage and we don't have to pay only whatever we use. It supports different open source protocols such as Apache Kafka. AM, QP, HTTPS and other things. So that makes it easier to consume from different type of applications. Let's see what we can do with Azure Event Hub. Some of the things we can do with the Event Hub, like if you have a scenario where you have to ingest millions of events per second, right? That, that things we can do. If you have any scenario where we have to enable real time and micro batch processing concurrently, like you are seamlessly sending data uh, to blob storage and you want to use this service in between so that you do not have to write very scalable service so that way also we, we can use event hub capture mechanism where your data will come to event hub and there are settings to enable and then data will be stored into blob lake or data lake storage this service is managed service with elastic scale so we do not have to think about scaling it and as we talked about, it can easily connect with Apache Kafka ecosystem. That scenario we can have. If you want to build a serverless streaming solution, because we do not have to manage any servers using these services, along with Azure Stream Analytics, we can do that one. We will see in some of the demo in next videos. Uh, let's see some of the scenario where we can use. So if you have anything where you are ingesting data, uh, streaming data, 
uh, you can use for ingestion purpose this service azure event hub then you can enable for a store purpose blob storage and in between you can do real time processing using azure stream analytics and then you can store the data either into cosmos db sql or snaps analytics for hot path scenario and then once your data is done you can also use the power bi for uh, visualization purpose so that is one thing we can do there are another things where a vehicle telemetry is being seen by different vehicle connected to this event hub and then using event hub in stream analytics we can detect a vehicle has problem with the engines or on the real time basis and if if you see that real eventing scenario where left side ingestion happens uh, where that can be used for event ingestion in between generally we have another service to leverage such as stream analytics we will see that one and right side if you see that one we can put this uh, we can store the streaming data into sql or a blob storage so now let's go ahead and create event hub using azure portal for this demo i'm into azure portal in inside our subscription and resource group where we will create event hub for this demo let's go ahead and click on create button we can search with event hubs and event hub there are two ways to create the event hub event hub and event hub cluster cluster is dedicated cluster which we can create but we will go with the basic one and the standard one so let's go ahead and click on event hubs and this is the details of event hub which we have seen in our ppt we will create event hub and it will create event hub name spaces so it will create name spaces first so let's give the name event hub okay let's keep the name let's put inside east us and we can select the pricing tier depending upon throughput pu is throughput and pu is a processing unit so standard premium and basic is there three flavor are there and one is dedicated we have seen the dedicated option is different if we browse the plan and pricing tier which we can get the more details that what it is there and how it is being calculated so basic can support one consumer group and 100 brokers connect sun and ingress limit is there and what is the retention period we can configure out of standard 20 consumer groups we can have and thousand brokers connection can have and ingress event is charged with the message retention is seven days and we can have a schema registry function as well as we can enable capture function also and with this uh, all these details are there only the consumer group is more and other details so let's go for a standard because i wanted to show you capture function also and uh, this is throughput and because if you see throughput unit per month we are charging based on if you go for premium it is processing unit so both are different so let's go for throughput unit and we will keep as one auto inflatement you can have the auto inflate enable and say that hey automatically check that one what is that throughput it is going to be done for a scaling purpose you can set the maximum one so we are not going to use for a scaling for right now so this is the basic setting we can go ahead and do that we are not going to leverage private endpoints and other things for this resources in demo so we will go for public access x help us to find you with this whatever tagging value we provide like peel prod prod or for some application so that's where we can consider component wise let's review and click create our event hub namespace has been created let's go to resource if we go inside this resource we can show more details that zone redundancy is enabled what is the pricing tier what is throughput in it auto inflate we saw that one what is the host details which details we will need for connection purpose we can go ahead and create shared access policy that using this primary key and secondary key what we can do mass minus and listen we can regenerate primary key we can add another policy also if you want to only give the same policy that we can use that okay it, it this whatever key will be generated it can be used only for send and same way we can do for other purpose also if we want to go give any key for management purpose or listen we can also control all these details using RBAC if we go into add role assignment and then we can see that 
roles for a brain data owner data owner is that whatever um, is owner for event hubs and other things data receiver who we will give the access for receiving the data from event hub a sender will be access to write the access so that is how we can give the access also and let's go into more details for scale and we talked about while creation auto inflate is that and throughput unit we can increase throughput unit depending upon our need and that's how through billing will be also infused and if we want to auto inflate we can also do that one geo recovery is another option where we can set up with uh, secondary so in case of primary goes down then the secondary will be start working so that's how we can uh, prioritize that uh, how to do the initiate pairing and other things and if you see that initiate pairing you have to have secondary name space either you have if any name space if you have you can use that one or either you can create here and so once pairing is done then you can go for fallback to secondary one so that's how the pairing works networking we can have private endpoint public endpoint and only selected network configuration we can go encryption we can enable all the encryption by you bringing our own key that that does not have any option into a standard but in dedicated cluster we can do other configuration which is the tls version and other things schema registry where we can define our schema whatever data is coming so that consumer and producer will align to same data with that uh, whatever schema we defined so that place we can do rest are that similar thing that alert matrix diagnostic setting we can attach to any diagnostic settings if you go into that one we can send all the diagnostic through log analytics or in storage account or another event hub or any partner solution these are the default setting let's go inside event hub and let's create a event hub okay I'm, if this partition key also helps to speed up or parallelize our data so the number of partition in event hubs relate to the number of concurrent reader you expect to have so that is what right now it is there and we can set up the cleanup policy that it is retention we can set up the retention by seven days by putting 160 hours so i'm putting right now one and here we can enable the capture and if we enable that one we can provide that storage in setting where storage uh, we whatever event is coming into this uh, time window uh, it is going to set uh, save into a storage and we will see that there is an option we can enable after creation also that's why i'm disabling this one let's review and create event hub so event hub is created if we go inside event hub we can see the details now here also we can see that how we can capture that one we can enable the setting in parquet or delta lake or which format we can do that and so if we wanted to save in ABRU, we have default setting that we can select the Azure storage container and other things. But if we want to do into another format, then we have to configure more with the help of stream analytics jobs that we have to create the stream analytics or in Delta preview also, if we go, we have to create a stream analytics job for Delta or like also. But we will go into ABRU and we will enable the setting let's see that one if i have so many container over there we can pull any storage let's see that's this soft fish blob we can have and we can set up one container that event hub demo event hub demo let's select that and this is what event is and i'm going to put in timing in one minute so that we can have see that how many file is generated so whatever event is going to come into one minute let's put two minute like of files so two minutes uh, it will be created one file and dump all this into one uh, file so we can see so let's save changes now whatever event will come we can see that at least it is being saved into uh, this place so that we can visualize that okay whatever is coming is right now incoming message is not there and details are not there in the same way if we go there is no message and other things so let's connect now which is uh, being generated for transaction and we can connect this tool with event hub and then we can see that if message is coming or not right so if we go into that right now into our event hub go inside this event hub and here also let's 
have that send policy because it will contain the which event of we are supposed to send not only name space so let me take that and we can see that a little bit different right now if you see this is the shared access call policy and endpoint but now if we replace with event hub it says that entity path is demo it means that event hub so let's save this and let's go and start our telco app which is going to send that message okay so it is now starting and it will be generate some vehicle telemetry data and it will send to event hub let's give a minute now it is sending so it is saying that total field equals zero processing time and other total event send equals to 500 so if we go into portal back one more time and if we see that something is being spiked up but message it is not showing let's wait for some time this data to reflect and in the similar way uh, two minutes we have set up for saving into our capture right we have set up the two every two minutes it will be saved into this event hub blob so we will go ahead and see the same thing into that time window we can go inside and we can go to a storage browser we can go to blob con containers we have created one event hub demo and inside event hub demo let's go inside this one and this is how it is 2021 29th is that month 7 52 and this is where it is stored right now if we try to see what type of data is there then we can download this and we can try to open this file into notepad and we can see some of the events are being saved right ct and other details for bin and other information is coming and same if we go inside this now it should be started coming so if you see this spike in the started coming that how many messages is capturing block is there a throughput is there all the messages coming so it is just started coming into this second uh, consumer group default and now people if we want to connect with processing then we can connect with the stream hub and other stream analytics and we can process this data and for that we will see in another video that how to process this data we just saw that the storing of the data but if you see that one all the data started coming from that so one thing also i wanted to note that if you see that one now uh, more details are coming for event hub because it could took some time how much capture event and other details are there one thing if you go inside configuration section um, if you go inside property section then if you see that it is enabled for kafka so by default event hub supports kafka if you have any kafka client you can use connection strings and primary keys and other details and you can send the data into event hub and processor as, such as data bricks or any other processor can connect as spark can connect to event hub using kafka protocol and do the processing and other things so that is one good thing if you have any any support you want to do for kafka you can use event hub this is what i wanted to cover and there are a lot of other video where we are going to use or we using this event hub in stream analytics to do a lot of different scenarios and a lot of ingestion of real time scenarios so let's see that one thank you mm -hmm.